I'm Tracy, and this is My Kitchen, and welcome back to another episode of Tasty Yet Healthy. This is where I bring you recipes from right here in my kitchen that are tasty, yet they are healthy for you. So today, we're going to be making a snack. You know I love snacks. I've done some videos in the past on them. For me, it's great to have on hand, and it's helped me with my journey and weight loss. So when you have a healthy snack on hand, it can help you too. So today we're gonna to be making apple oat balls. It's gonna be full of apples, full of oats, full of peanut butter. So let's get cooking. Okay, so we are making apple oat balls. So I chose this snack because it is a great snack just to keep in the fridge for the week. Grab a couple and have yourself a really nice, sweet treat. These, of course, you can see there's no sugar here. The sweetener in it is dates. So in order to prep our dates right now, we want to start a pot of water to boil because we want to soak our dates for about 10 minutes. So that's the first thing we're going to do here start that water to boil and we're going to talk a little bit about some of the other ingredients that we're going to use in these oat balls today. So we're using actually dried apples and they are organic. It's the organic bare apple chips. We're going to put them in our blender and mix them in in just a little bit. The second preparation portion that we want to do is toast the oats. So we're gonna toast a little bit of them on a, on a sheet pan in the oven, set at 350. And here again, we're using an organic ingredient. It is just organic old fashioned oats that we're gonna toast. We have some peanut butter and a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of cloves here. All right, so we're gonna put the oats on a pan, okay? So here I have one and a half cups of oats and we're just gonna sprinkle them on a pan and we're just gonna toast them in the oven for just a few minutes, maybe about nine or 10 minutes, just till they're lightly toasted. And during that time, we'll be soaking our dates. We're going to set our oven to 350 degrees so that we can toast our oats. So I got it set for nine minutes so I can remind myself to check it there. So to get our dates ready to soak, you're gonna take a bowl that it can handle boiling water. And I have a cup of dates here. Remember to get them pitted because you don't want the seed in it. So we're gonna put in a cup here and then we're gonna pour the boiling water in. There's our signal that the water is done boiling. Oh, we're just gonna get it and we're just gonna Fill up our bowl until they cover your dates completely. You want them completely under the water. And then you're just gonna let them sit for about 10 minutes. All right, let's check these oats. They have a nice golden color now. That's right where we wanted to have it. And so we're gonna set these aside until we're ready to mix them all together. Okay. So we want to pulse just for a minute about a half a cup of our toasted oats. And this portion is gonna be used to roll our balls in at the very end, the finishing touch on it. And so you can use your big blender if you want to, to pulse it. I'm just gonna use my smaller one. Put in a half a cup here. And we're just gonna pulse it a little bit. Okay, so I didn't, do it till it's real fine. I just did it, just pulsed it a few times and that'll be perfect for the end there. Okay, so I went ahead and I strained the water completely from the dates. And so now we can put all of the rest of our ingredients right into the blender. So we have our dates that have been soaked. We're gonna use the remainder of our toasted oats, should be about a cup. One cup of our apple slices here. We have two tablespoons of peanut butter. We have half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And we're gonna use a little bit of cloves here, just a little dash in there. All right, now we're gonna blend it all up. All 
right, so once it's all good and blended together, we're ready to start making our balls. We can see that consistency in there. Nice stickiness. You may want to get your hands a little wet because you're going to be touching them and rolling them together. And because they're sticky, if you have water on your hands, then it rolls a little better. Next, you'll want a little dish for water because we're going to dip them into the water. And then we're going to dip them into the oats to give them a cover and just put them on some wax paper. All right. So you can see about the size that you would want each one. Just dip it a little bit in the water, coat it with the oats. Okay, so once you have them all rolled, you can put them in the fridge and wait till they're chilled and then eat them up as the week goes on. Our snack is all done, ready to enjoy. Can't wait to try it here. With just a little bit of prep, we are able to have a healthy snack ready to go and made several servings. Just so you know, a serving of these is considered two. So even though they may taste so amazing, you may not want to eat the whole batch. Uh, as you remember, there was no added sugar. We used only dates to sweeten it. So these are very healthy for you with loaded full of protein with the peanut butter and the oats. So let's give it a try. They are fantastic. Really, really delicious. Full of sweetness. You would never guess no sugar. Having healthy snacks on hand does take just a little bit of planning. Sometimes it's hard to plan ahead, but if you do, you will be so happy that you did. It's going to help you in that weight loss journey that you're trying so hard to reach. And even if you're already at the ideal weight, you will still be so happy that you had healthy snacks on hand. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Also, check out my Instagram page. I try to share every day what I eat, and so it helps you with what to, what to decide to cook, what to decide to snack on, and why I choose the ingredients that I do. Until then, I'll see you next time in the Tasty Yet Healthy Kitchen.